space suit. Might as well take it. You never know, you might need it. Okay, so now I need to talk to this guy. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. What's the Great Journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Mm. What is the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Um, let's talk about- After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human, but this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. Um, so you're going to leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Wow, that really pulled the wool over his eyes. <laughs> oh, you've been using Despicable? Well, it's none of my business. You've been using Chris. No, it's not Despicable. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Um, are you seriously going to make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Those rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Okay, so now I need to go talk to Chris. Hello. Hello. So, I can't go out there because I'll die. I'm assuming. Okay, so how do I get to Chris? Oh, you're in my way. Right, follow over. There you are. Are you Chris? Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Yes. What do you do here? I'm the flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Well, that's true. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Uh, why don't you let... Why don't they let you work down on the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. 
Ah, okay. The radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're human. So the Great Journey will use those rockets. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Um, how can I help you? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Um... I still have questions? No, okay. Um, I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Um... Can you give me any tips for my current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Okay... Yeah, Later. Oops. Okay, so now my journey is to go get some Oops. Uh, find the rocket fuel. Okay. Let's go. I think I can get out this way. I think I can get out this way. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we need to go that way. Oh, this might not have been the way I wanted to go. Well, I can get back in. Okay, rocket fuel. What am I? Okay, I'm just dressed in normal. So is this just taking me out and about? What is over here? I mean, I haven't been over to this section yet, I don't think. And there's a gate, so I should be able to get in. I think there's a gate, yeah. I don't think this is the way I need to go, but I just want to see what's over here. Because you must explore things. Oh, this might be the way I want to go anyway. Or a way I want to go. Can I get anywhere in here? Yeah, I can. Whee! Up here. I mean, because that's the way it's pointing. Okay, I can't get from here. Oh, wait, wait. Let's, let's go this way. Let's see if this is taking me anywhere. No, it's not. Okay. It's going to take me back around. Okay. So where exactly am I going? Oh, way over here to the... Oh, to Clark Field. Which was close to the Viper's encampment. And Novak. Okay, so it's past Novak. Okay, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've crouched for no reason. Okay, that's an interesting pose. Okay, we must fix that because that hurts my eyes. My head is... Not good. Okay. Well, actually, I have stats for real, all right. Okay. This looks like a jigsaw puzzle. I mean, even a piece fell out. I don't think that's how they make them. So we're going that away. Well, he's still here. The glowing one hasn't decayed. The other guys have. And this big guy's still here. I would think they would get rid of him already. I mean, hello, you can see him. Just feed him to the cows. and energy. So we're going that way. So let's take this street. Let's take this road. I think I'm just going there. But we'll take the road. We'll follow the yellow brick road or the yellow line, orange line on the road. Just going over there. Let's look at the map. Um, if I wanted to take the road, there's no road to it. I need to go back up and around, so let's not take the road. Because I would need to go back to that road and go that way. If he wants to come after me, he can. Oh, there's the road into the ice. Oh, have I been here already? Oh! The Radicals Journal. I found the fuel. That was easy. And I didn't even need a... a thing. Yeah, I've been here already. This is the... where all the geckos were. I guess I could put on the radiation suit and... Go oh, that way. I think I'll just follow the road. Let's follow the yellow brick road. There's something over there. There's a dead person here. A couple of them, actually. Legionnaire! Crispy bits! A night stalker tail. And a bitter drink. Bit of drink only K 
cape fungus. Let's do the if. What do we have in weapons? We have a flask of a defender. Um, recharge pistol service. you coming. Well, since I'm near my apartment over here at the hotel, I will... I will drop off some of my stuff that I don't need. Dinosaur bit off the motel sign. That's interesting. I still love the fact that they say Novak and it's because it's no vacancy. had power but hey I'm gonna drop box stuff in here with the rest of the stuff I have miscellaneous I don't need that I don't need that I might need that later I don't need that 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 um I need to read no mayor signs journal Was that what I picked up? What was the thing that I picked up? Miscellaneous. It was... I picked that up. Was it the secondary thing? I don't know. It was somebody's... Oh, McGrath's journal. Okay. Day one. Love the suit. Can scavenge anywhere now. Screw the rads. I hereby christen myself Mr. Radical. Get it? Ha. Day four. Suit passed first test with flying yellow colors. Overnight visit to Yucca Mountain. Didn't go too deep because something is big moving around further down the tunnel. Rad level high even where I was, and I didn't feel a tickle. Go, rad suit, go. Day five, vomiting all morning, didn't splash on suit, or I'd be pissed. Must be something I ate. Day nine, exciting. Ran across old woman's scrapyard, bought glowing container for measly 50 bucks, heading for Clarksfield to prove suit is at higher level rads. If it holds up, I'm going to pop this jar of goo open and pour it all over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. <laughs> no, you're dying because you picked that up. And you died, so hello. 